Hey Putin, episode 500 review. Or did I say final episode? Now, I'll admit I am a bit salty we didn't get 700. I am. Because I feel like, especially if you remember a bit of 700, there's this really nice epilogue that I love. That, that is like a reverse of the first page of the Naruto manga. <coughs> <coughs> As well as a reverse of the first scene in the Naruto anime. It showed before, you know, in the beginning of the anime, like a nine tailed fox suddenly appear and the fourth Ogage steals it away. There's a page in the manga that's like a reverse of that. It talks about how this boy was hated by everyone and he was the son of the fourth Hokage and he befriended the fox and forged bonds with his teammate and eventually defeated the calamity known as the ten tailed. And it w went on to become known as the Seven Sokage. There's a peg with that in the manga. There is. And I'm disappointed I won't get to see the anime. I was actually kind of hoping the third Okage voice actor would come in at the end and we'd get that, but we didn't. But I'm assuming we'll get it in Boruto. We probably will. They may word it a little bit differently. Like that. They'll probably be like, and that man. You know, that'll probably be the intro. To the epi to the Boruto episode, and that man was known as the seven became known as the seven Hokage, but this is not that man's story, and then it will show Boruto. That's probably not gonna work. But let's get on with the episode. All right, this was a really good episode. I think when this episode did the best, what it it, it was for the people that had been watching for years, like me, who who didn't watch Naruto. To see Naruto, who watched Naruto for the fighting, yeah, but who also watched it because they liked the character. And it got us to see all the characters and what made them who they are. We got to see Guy and Lee, like, working, uh, you know, like, underhand, doing the handstand. That was, that was great. That bit was great. I love that. When they're, they're juggling the dumbbell with their feet. I mean, there's also that one great. There's a scene in this episode that capsulates the character of Sake and Sakura in like a minute, a, a minute, and no dialogue. A couple words for like, like three words out of Sakura's mouth, none out of Sake's, and they encapsulated both their characters perfectly. It's probably my, one of my, my second favorite scene of the episode. So a, a hawk flies over the wedding ceremony and lands on Sakura's arm. And with, in case you do not know, in Naruto, then you have messenger hawks to communicate and do mail, like nin at least ninjas do. <coughs> so Sakura removes the, let, the, the the paper, and this is the bit I love, because I always had a problem with this in the original story. She opens it up, and it's, and it's a piece of paper with some kanji in the middle. The kanji says, congratulations. And Sakura just... She blushes and she a smile, and you see Sasuke, just standing somewhere, uh, not, just assumably from the scenery, not far from the hidden lee. You see him just chilling, standing there, and you see him smile a little bit, and he walks off. And I hope we're going to see Sakura give that to Naruto, because honestly, I hope we're going to see the wedding after, you know, that Naruto and Naruto are wedded. I hope we're going to see like, an actual party. But no, because I only want to know what Naruto's reaction is. Like, will he be happy, or will he will he be like visually happy, or like I think he probably be like, like I don't want that bastard congratulations or something. I but I don't know, and I wish we could have. Sorry about that. I wish we could have. I wish we could have gotten that, but whatever. Um, there was a, I'll talk about the Iruka thing later. But there was a great thing when he not the father. I think his name is Hishi. Ichida? I'm not sure. But we did a great thing where Hanabi, I don't like Hinata, so I'm not gonna gust over it, but I can acknowledge it's a really beautiful scene. Where Hanabi's like talking how great Hinata looks and how big of a deal, how happy she is for her. And you see that, that I mean, Hinata's father is an asshole. We know this. And we see him there, blank face, and he smiled a little bit. That looked really nice to see, you know, a sentence. And that's the, I do agree that it's actually kind of fitting, because Naruto fought for acceptance from everybody, and Hinata, uh, uh, what, the right the 14 married Naruto, gets the acceptance from her father. I feel like, I like that. 
I don't know, like the bit where Hanabi hold, with all the holding of the pictures. I felt like that would really nice. Um, I thought there were cuts. Like I would have been more invested if I knew more about Japanese wedding. It's obviously slightly different. Like I know in um in at least in America, the bride and the groom don't see each other before the wedding. Naruto and Naruto weren't hanging out together before they went out and got married. It's obviously different cultural differences. So that kind of hurt my enjoyment. Yeah, there were, I said the pauses there, and then there were messages. Uh, I really like the science doctor message. I like how that went for. Once again, I wish, I really wish that he would attend the wedding. I always wanted that. Like, you know, like I, I, I maybe like a instead of it being science doctor, it could be doctor and doctor. I thought like that would have been more fitting because no matter how you slice it, yes, Iruka with Naruto first person to acknowledge him, but Naruto's first friend, his own age, were Sasuke and Sakura, and I thought that would have been very fitting for them to be the first people to congratulate him on this step in his life, but no, because they really need to keep up this Sasuke the loner thing, I'm like, listen, Sasuke did have to get, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, but Sasuke did have to get married, Sasuke, well, we don't know if he's married, we actually don't know, we don't know officially, I mean, we, we've seen Sakura be referred to as Sakura Uchiha in games, we've never seen it in any official uh, material. We're not sure, I'm not sure, at least myself, if they're actually married, or if they just have a kid and live together. Like, if they had a kid out of wedlock, wedlock. I'm not sure, it's not okay, I don't know if he gets a kid, personally, but I would have liked that. It's also like really okay. there's like weird, I thought this was a live reaction. But I'm sorry, the thing with Rushimaru was so absurd, it was funny. A lot of things just happened. Like, yeah, I will kill that girl on your team. Well, I, I, I traumatized the girl on your team. I kidnapped your fr I kidnapped your best friend and set you into a giant QB and turned you into a giant QB rave monster. Where you almost killed that girl on your team. Oh, did I all? What else? What else did I do to you? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I stole your friend for three years. I tried to steal your brother, your your brother, and all the blood from body. It's like it's like a lot has happened, and like I would not be like I just have not wasn't at the wedding. I mean, honestly, you can't have it be at the wedding because there would be some sort of visible visible reaction from uh, Naruto or Sakura. Like they, one of them at least would probably be like, "What the hell are you doing here?" And like kick the guy in the ass and be like, "No, you can't be here." Like, no, no, like, we, like, you kidnapped Sasuke, screw you. Like, there will be, or maybe even Kakashi would have it. Kakashi, you know, probably knows he's in the village, honestly. Kakashi clearly doesn't care. <laughs> but, yeah, so that bit was... <coughs> <coughs> so that bit was nice. Um, then, of course, there's the main bit of the other note. The bit that I feel like great, but I'm not a Naruto fan. I had no interest in the Naruto and Naruto relationship. I could care less. But I like, but I actually like Narada. The couple the reason I keep on watching. Because I still, because the characters I like are still around. I, Naruto and Saki are awesome in Boruto's timeline. And I think Narada's an amazing character. So I want to see what they do with her. If they sit on Narada, I'm probably going to drop Boruto. The Dorada is like the only one of on that team that I find interesting whatsoever. Screw Mishki, screw Boruto, Dorada for the win. No, but in all honesty, uh, but that probably other though was it's a great scene. So the m m beginning of the first 15 minutes are, is Iruka contemplating how to congratulate Naruto and what to say to him in the message from Komahamaru and there is a, this is a, no, we get to see eventually he remember he had the flash map to how him and Naruto met. Not how they met, but you know, but that, <coughs> chapter one, episode one, where he stole the sacred scroll of healing. That is great, how episode 500 of Naruto Gimpoon is tied back to episode one. <coughs> that part is great. And then we get to see Naruto. Arrive on his door, and he starts like avoiding it. Like, oh, you want to get some ramen? It's my last night as a single man. 
They're all to the bit where he's like, you better not neglect him, not, not, not. I started laughing at that. Because we come to find out he does neglect Hinata. Like, Iruka tells him, you better not neglect her. He then proceeds to neglect her like five years later. But that is besides, but the fact that Naruto is a terrible father and husband is not, is not the point of this video. The point of this video is that there's this amazing thing where he takes Naruto and like, you are going to apologize. He, he, he claims Naruto is neglecting Hinata, so I guess it. In Japan, the man, the husband and the wife spend time together, but like the night before the wedding, or right before the wedding. So he she she grabs Naruto. They're gonna go see Hinata and apologize, and Naruto stops him, and he asks him to be his father at the wedding. Which I, and that scene is amazing. Iruka looks like he's about to cry. He bows. They thank each other. Really beautiful, beautifully done scene. And I find that perfect, you know, I feel like if there's anybody who's been a father figure to Naruto, who isn't dead, I mean, obviously, Jiraiya, but is there anybody who's been a father figure to Naruto? It's Iruka. And I, and so he asked Iruka to attend at his, the wedding as his father, and Iruka message to Naruto is great. It's just, it, 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 for him not to very basic, it's a congratulatory, Method and telling her to be that he's still kind of sorry, sorry for her and that uh, she's going to need to work her ass off. The adults are the absolute moron and he's probably going to get himself in a lot of trouble. <coughs> and and cause the family a lot of problems. But, but then he proceeds to tell Naruto in another like father like way, you better treat this woman well. And I felt like that was great. The, it just, it snugs up the relationship between Naruto and Iruka perfectly. And then the ending. I loved that ending. It was this really nice ending of all the members of the team that that final shot where it went past Kakashi, and then it went past Sakura, and then it went past Sasuke, and it went to Naruto. All in their Shippuden. I felt like the fact that they were in their Shippuden, like their normal, pre the last era, like the outfit they wore up until the war. I think that said something about it because you know, if you're looking at the character, this is what we're most used to seeing them. Naruto's in his orange jumpsuit, Kakashi in his Jonin outfit, Saki in his war outfit, and Sakura wearing her normal outfit. And it, it really, it's a nice thing to see these characters like that animated one last time. And then, of course, we have a trailer for it goes Naruto to Boruto. And we get this trailer for Boruto, and we need Naruto to move his headband and give it, give it to Boruto, who puts it on his head, and it ends. So yeah, Naruto's over. Um, honestly, I think it will hit me more when I see Seven Hundred animated. I mean, I'm sad. I'm a little sad because I like these characters, and honestly, the only ones that are going to be relevant are, are Naruto, Sasuke, Hinata, and Sakura. Really, oh, and that's only add parental figures and possible death counters. Like, let's be honest, Doctor probably gonna die because Dorada needs that Mangekyo because we gotta we gotta hype up the Uchiha. I mean, you know, you know how many people love the Uchiha? There is no way Sakura won't die so Dorada gets the Mangekyo. Hinata may die. I mean, my theory is Hinata died for that Boruto and gets it from Byakugan. That. <coughs> Like that chapter one of the Boruto manga. That is my theory. But I don't know. But some of these characters are going to die. And then look at how little, like, Kibo we got. In Shippuden. Like, you realize that we're going to get an episode. Uh, the most Kibo we'll get is, like, one episode. Of him ta talking to Boruto. And giving him advice. And talking about Boruto's father. Which I am worried if we're going to get a lot of those. Like, I would not be surprised within the first 10 episodes, we get an episode where Sakura sends an entire episode just telling Boruto and Dorada about Naruto. I would not be surprised. Or, or like, and we get one with Shino, one with Sai, and we get like each, char each one of the characters talking to Boruto about their experiences and the reason they love and support Naruto. And I'm worried we're going to get that. I'm not sure. 
But yeah, this has been kind of like a ramble type of video, but Naruto's over. Um, I really don't feel up to doing another reacting right now. Sick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to edit that. Uh, no, I'm not gonna get edit out my coughing in this. I may. I don't know. But the one peak will be later. I'm sorry. I only did this to get it. I actually would not have done this. But it just, it's the last episode of Naruto. It's the, it's the finale of Naruto. I mean, I wanted... I felt kind of like obligated to do this. Because I do sometimes talk about Naruto on the channel. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is One Piece Nation. Signing out. And I guess kept me for Naruto video. I mean, it, it, it's, I'm a little sad right now. Yeah, I can't tell you guys to come back for more Naruto content. I mean, I'll do some on the side, but it's over. So you should come back for Naruto content, I guess. Peace out, guys.